If this is true, this is not good. Um, Spans the recommendation against Activision Blizzard, citing interference from HR. Okay, here we go. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen, more bullshit. An amended complaint in the state of California's lawsuit against Activision Blizzard was filed yesterday, expanding the scope of their investigation into widespread harassment and discrimination. As reported by Axios, the complaint now covers temporary contract workers as well as full-time employees, and the Department of Fair Employment and Housing has also leveled charges of obstruction, alleging that Activision Blizzard Human Resources Department shredded documents related to the investigation. The suit claims that Activision has a legal obligation to retain those documents and further alleges that the company that the gaming company has been withholding information relevant to the investigation using non-disclosure agreements to require employees to speak with the company before contacting the DFEH and directly interfering with the state's ability to investigate prosecute and remedy workplace discrimination violations oof these updates follow a report made last month which depicted a human resource department set up to fail employees from the start. Allegations that employees were discouraged from making complaints and that little to no action was ever taken are eerily similar to the complaints made against Ubisoft last year, in which dozens of accusations were found to have been long forgotten, mishandled, or flat out ignored by their human resources department. Now, I do just want to make clear to everyone, I've heard these rumors from my own sources. Uh, and these are victims, so I've I've literally had a victim that talked to me about this, uh, who made a, a, a complaint, who laid a complaint at Human Resources. Human Resources did nothing about that. They eventually decided to email um, Mike Morheim directly, and the email was blocked by HR, and HR basically reprimanded them for trying to go over their heads, right? So I've heard similar accounts of HR basically not doing their job, trying as good as they can to get victims to just shut the fuck up. Um, this is all too common story has been repeated at Riot Games, Square Enix, Electronic Arts, and several other major developers, proving a systemic issue across the industry rather than contained within one studio. During the most recent quarterly investor earnings call, conference call, CEO Bobby Kotick made a strongly worded speech stating that any management or leader found to have impeded the integrity of our processes for evaluating claims would be terminated. The same week, both Blizzard Entertainment President J. Allen Brack and the studio's head of global human resources left the company, though only one of the demands made during the employee walkout in late July has been met so far, with Francis Townsend stepping down as executive sponsor of the ABK Women's Network. Uh, Alright, so this is just a bunch of tweets. Um... I, this does not surprise me. I am not surprised in the least that if it turns out to be true that HR did trade documents, because you have to, and um, you have to understand, right? Uh, basically, the the Californian Department of uh, Housing and whatever the fuck house is called, they're obviously now asking for all of the reports from people ever, right? So every report that's ever been filed. Whether it's sort of followed up on or not, we want to see all of the reports and all of the paperwork. Knowing what we know about human resources at Blizzard Entertainment, is there a single person in chat right now that's surprised that they would have shredded the documents? That's surprised that they wanted to get away with this? Is there anyone here that thinks to themselves, no, Blizzard, really? No, no, Blizzard wouldn't do that. They, they'd be forthcoming as fuck. Of course not. Of course not. Blizzard is... I'm almost certain that they're hiding things. And I don't think it's just them. I don't think it's just them. I think this is common practice across the industry. If you're in trouble, straight the documents. Hopefully no one ever finds out, right? Just scrub it. Make sure that it's not there anymore. Uh, there's a couple of, like, bad things that comes with this, right? Um, you've had articles recently in uh, PC Gamer as well as IGN. Now, before we even get into those articles... Uh, and I'm not going to cover the entire articles. These are long fucking articles, mostly padded with bullshit. It seems to me that every single one of these companies are now basically going out of their minds, trying to, uh, shall we say, um, pad their articles so that it's pages and pages long. But effectively, both of these uh, outlets, IGN and PC Gamer, wanted to make the argument that Blizzard like Entertainment specifically is in I very serious trouble. Have a dumpling. I am not surprised. But that is illegal. They should not do this. It's terrible. 
I think destroying evidence to impair investigation is worse than one single instance of sexual harassment itself, because this will lead to the tolerance of so many instances of those terrible things. Zig Zig, I agree with you, but it also shows HR's uh, constant insistence on protecting those that they are meant to save, right? That's what it shows to me. Now, these articles effectively pointed out that World of Warcraft is in deep trouble. And when we say deep trouble, we do mean to the point of cancellation trouble, right? Um, these, these articles are sort of hinted at the fact that WoW is bleeding more players than anyone ever thought it would. Um, I've, I've had one contact that works for Blizzard who didn't say in so many words that, that WoW is done, but basically said that the game is bleeding more players than they thought it would. So they expected a large number of players to unsub from the game when all of this came out. But they're basically be bleeding players every single day since. Like every single day since. And there's not been much more coming out. So they're effectively seeing their game just sort of die out slowly but surely. And according to my contact, at least, they don't know why. Like genuinely, this is how clueless some of the people at Blizzard is. They don't know why. The, the lead developers just sit there going, why are people leaving the game? This makes no sense. Um, does this mean that WoW is dead? The only way WoW is ever dead is if uh, Activision decides that they no longer want the millions of dollars that WoW can make for them. So I don't think WoW is dead. I think almost all of these articles are completely overblown um, and really to the point where it's, it's sort of weird to think of the amount of people that is jumping on this bandwagon. But then of course you have something like this, which I also think is necessary to discuss. Now, I want to be clear before we even get into this article. Let me be very fucking clear. I think this is bullshit. Straight up. I think you ever made this post it is a moron, right? And 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 like this is fanfic that is beyond belief. <laughs> they they should have dialed it back like five or six nudges, right? I and mean, then maybe it would have been believable. But I mean, they go on to say, right? And okay, so there's a couple of things here that, that I think is absolutely true, right? And that, that I don't think is is bad. Uh, by the way, Minion, we've already covered that. We've, we've covered the expansion of the lawsuit. There's a couple of things here. Diablo Immortal, I, I made a video not too long ago where I said that Diablo Immortal is going to come to PC. How do I know that? During the investor call, Bobby Kotick said that they're gonna bring Diablo Immortal to more audiences and more platforms, right? Which literally can only mean that it's coming to console and most likely coming to PC as well. So there is that, okay? Apparently they have another, according to this guy at least, they have another uh, un untitled Diablo PvP game. As far as Diablo 4 is concerned and the three planned expansions, according to my contacts, they have at least one expansion planned Three has never been mentioned to me. Not once have I ever heard that they have three planned. I've heard that they have one planned, and if that one does well. So basically, it all depends on Diablo 4. If Diablo 4 does as well as they hope it's going to do, then a, a second expansion will be in the works. If it doesn't do as well, there'll be one expansion, and they'll move on to whatever comes after that, at least from what I've heard. Now, this is where things get really funny. World of Warcraft is entering official maintenance mode. The little work that was already put into the expansion of the Shadowlands will be released 9.3 sometime in 2023. Get fucked. This is where you know this is a lie. This guy was sitting there jerking himself off, thinking about all the things that he would love to hear, right? This is sort of a hate, hate post as far as I'm concerned. Because... There is no fucking way that 9.3 is only launching in 2023. It's not possible. It is, are you telling me that they're going to have 9.2 run for an entire year and a half before they bring out 9.3? At that point, you don't have to put World of Warcraft in maintenance mode. It'd be dead already. It'd be dead already. If 9.1 lasted for a year and a half, WoW is dead. You may, you may as well shut down the servers and just fucking stop. No one's going to continue playing and no one's coming back for 9.3 when all it is is just to basically update a few things. Uh, 9.3, despite the name, has nothing to do with Shadowlands and is just made up of salvage stuff from 10.0. 
bullshit. Classic servers will be merged into one or two with the launch of Wrath of the Lich King Classic in 2023. This will be the last classic expansion planned. This I, I, could, I could believe. I've said it before. I don't think that they're going to come with classic cataclysm or ca classic fucking uh, mists. I, I don't think they will. I think Wrath is a good place to stop the classic bullshit. A new untitled, untitled World of Warcraft accessory MMORPG is in the works, looking to take a lot from Final Fantasy XIV. This is going to be developed by a majority new team than those who were made and worked on WoW. It is not a sequel, but a total reboot with new lore. Currently only in the planning stage, the base game will focus on Valenes, or Valenes, Valences, the Eastern Kingdoms, and Outland, with playable races from both worlds. It is currently believed to have to not have factions. I will not. Uh, it will not borrow from Hearthstone, which will remain separate and continually updated with new expansions. Bullshit. If World of Warcraft was ever going to have a spinoff, if Blizzard ever decided, hey, you know what, we we don't like where the game is going. We'd we'd like to get a new game running, um, within the the Warcraft IP. It is almost, as far as I'm concerned, conceivable that they would go back to Kalimdor. And when I say Kalimdor, I mean the original Kalimdor, Land of Eternal Stars, and start whatever new story they want to start in that world. I, I don't see a world. Why Eastern Kingdoms? What happened to Kalimdor? What is the story that you're telling there? Unless, of course, it's an entire Realm Reborn reset where Kalimdor just gets destroyed, right? Which is just really fucking weird. Um, and I don't think, I don't think any of this is true. We know that there's a Warcraft Mobile Project Hearthstone spin-off game is coming out. Okay, Overwatch is believed to be unsalvageable. Like that I can actually agree with. I think Overwatch is completely Same useless. Wow, is entering official maintenance status is completely stupid nonsense. Even if they want to do this, there is zero chance they will call this official maintenance. Because if they call it this, no more players will join. Even if they don't want to do anything with this game anymore, they will still release an expansion with little things in it and pretend it is still in normal status, so that people can continue buying store mounts. Actually, uh, Zigzix, no other company has ever done this, right? So, every single company that has ever pushed their game into planned maintenance, so maintenance mode, have admitted that, right? And those games tend to do better after the announcement that they are going into maintenance mode, they, they tend to actually have an uptick in subscribers. People come back to the game. Um, but it, it'll be pretty clear if WoW ever went into maintenance mode, uh, it, it'd be clear, pretty clear for everyone. WoW would drop its subscription. Uh, the subscription would become optional. Um, you know, There'd be far more cash shops added or cash items added to the game. It's going to be pretty clear. But this is bullshit, right? This, this entire post is bullshit. But you can see the vultures are circling, right? Everyone is dropping on this. Everyone is trying to get a piece of this. If you go on PC Gamer, if you go on IGN, they're all fighting, fighting for a little piece of the pie, right? This does not help. This story does not help. The fact that you have California now expanding their lawsuit against Blizzard Entertainment, citing things like interference with the investigation, this isn't going to sit well with players. It's not going to sit well with staff members that, that were the victims of this harassment. And as far as I'm concerned, it's fucking disgusting. If true, want to say with clarity, if true, maybe we should say when true, because it's most likely fucking true. But this is, as far as I'm concerned, the, this is taking a, a company that already is struggling to keep their player base happy and is already dealing with a player base that that very much distrusts them. And it's just pushing that distrust ever more forward, right? To the point where now you're going to deal with players that realize not only are you not taking responsibility for your actions, but you're also trying to hide your, uh, hide your involvement. You're trying to hide your wrongdoings. So if this is true, shame on you, Blizzard fucking shame on you the best thing you could have done here is admit your wrongdoing hand over all of the evidence and apologize for it and say that it will never happen again because if this comes out if this turns out to be true all of that words from bobby kotick and the pr department saying they take the shit seriously and they will do better you know that it's all smoke they were blowing smoke up your ass because they were hiding evidence as quickly as it fucking could come out
It's disgusting. 